Hey everyone, welcome back to another iLogic video. Today I want to do the same thing we did in the previous video where we copied a sketch and placed it to another sketch. Only this time we are going to be creating a new sketch and uh, placing the, the sketch over to the new one. So let me show you how the code works. If I run this, uh, once again it's going to ask me to select a part with a sketch and I want to copy the first sketch and then it's going to ask me to uh, choose a part to copy that sketch to. I want to uh, duplicate that sketch to this part and now it's asking me to select a work plane and I want to create the sketch on this work plane so I'm going to select this one and then it creates the sketch onto that part. Uh, so if we take a look there it is, uh, sketch 15 and we just created that one. If I delete the contents of this one and then I rerun it, it's going to make a new one. So let's rerun this. I want sketch, then I want to copy it over here. I want to select this work plane. Now, if we take a look at the model, it's going to create a new one right here. Uh, so let me show you the code. All right. So the first part, it's very similar to the previous video, uh, iLogic lesson number 13. Now the second portion right here is where it gets where it's a little bit different. Right here, we're still defining the uh, part composition or component definition of the second component occurrence we selected. And right here is where it gets a little bit different. Instead of going through each sketch inside that part, what we're going to do is go through each work plane and then add that to a list so that we can have the user select a work plane out of all the work planes found. And right here, this is where we set the work plane. Uh, we define it as work plane and then we uh, isolate it using this command right here. So and if you look at the IntelliSense, uh, let me let me suppress this over here. WP2 is equal to O part uh, component definition. And then you can look through the work planes. Oops, spelled that wrong. And then right here, you can, if there's a one already existing, you can uh, isolate that one by going to the item. And then right here, it's asking you for an object, and we can just type the name of the work plane that we need. And this is where the user selects it, right? Uh, whatever the user selects gets stored as WP and then that's how we get the work plane and then right here we define uh, we create a new sketch by first defining the sketches inside this uh, inside this part right here and we, once again it's the component occurrence from uh, the second part we select or the second part that we pick and once we get the sketches we now add a sketch and when you add a sketch what it asks it asks for a plane so you see it's planner entity that's all it's asking for and use face edges um, I'm not sure what that means I think it's it might be asking to project geometry uh, but that's optional so you don't have to put that in there and uh, honestly you probably don't need this line of code right here what what I could have done instead is uh, let me to press this right here. I could have just done this uh, is equal to O part comp two sketches add OWP2. I could have done that as well. You can also assign the sketch a name. So let's say we want the sketch of this um, the name of this sketch, the new sketch, we want that equal to new sketch. So if you do that we hit uh, run so we want to copy this uh, sketches from here we want that one we want to place it in here we want to create it right here so we take a look at it uh, so this is the previous one so this is a new one we just made new sketch now if we run it again I don't think you'll, uh, there probably will be an error just because that sketch already ex exists so we want to copy this sketch we want to copy it over here we might have an error right here yep and that error is because uh, we want to make a new sketch called my sketch. Uh, I mean, we want to make a new sketch called new sketch, and that already exists. Uh, so that's where it messed up. Anyways, I hope this video was 
inter uh, interesting to you. If you like iLogic stuff, make sure you subscribe. I make iLogic videos weekly, and I'm sure you'll get a lot of value from them. All right, talk to you guys later.